is up guys welcome to the west side why we are in new york city for the joe k 10k this weekend um i'm excited i just picked up my bib um uh, my race shirt and i'm gonna show you guys that stuff i'm also gonna explain some of the things on the bib and what i had to go through when going to nyr so due to the covid restrictions there is a uh a line outside the door so if you guys are coming to the uh, city for a race or if you guys live in the city and you're doing a race something to remember is bring your vax card they're not gonna let you in without it uh, you gotta show that I don't think they care so much about the booster because I actually didn't get the booster um, so that wasn't on my card the uh, race itself takes place in Central Park um, which is right across the street from where I am right now. For the uh, the bib, when you guys go, you're gonna see them tell them your last name, check in, and they're gonna give you this. Now, each person has their own number, obviously, but on the bottom you have your medical here and your bag check here. And the medical is if you get injured, you gotta give them to them, so they, some kind of record thing, I assume. Um, and then the bag check, you'll get a clear bag with and uh, bobby pins, of course, to put your bib on your stuff. Um, but for bag check, you put this inside the bag. Now, when I did the Bronx 10 mile, the reason we did this was so that you would put your, uh, your bag in association with the 3000s to 4000s or something like that. And you'd have this showing so that they would, could put it in order with the other bags. That way when you're done with your race, they're already ready to pick this up and give you your bag. Cause they can see your bib coming down the uh, the, the walkway area there. And they, they, the, they had us going like, people weren't waiting. People weren't waiting. So with C, that's gonna be your corral. Um, some races probably do your uh, bag check by, oh, no, probably not, because there's no C on there. All right, yeah, so I think those are by number. And then for the corrals, when you do the actual race, look for the uh, letter that's on your bib, because that's where you need to go. Um, the reason you're going there is because they want the faster people up front so that slower people, and no offense to you, don't get in the way. Um, and let's be honest, that's, a, that's really fair because it's really easy to trip over someone. It's really easy to run into someone. And the best way to avoid that is putting people by their pace. Now, if you just doing your first NYRR race, they're gonna bump you up on your next one. Um, so it's really not a big deal if you, if you think you're that fast, I um, when I earned this one, this was a, uh, what was it a, uh, it was about an eight minute, 7.30, maybe a sub 7.30. So that's roughly what that is. So, I mean, figure it out for yourself. And if you wanna put yourself in some other corral, I don't recommend doing that. Um. I'll try and get you guys some video of the layout of the race. Um, sometimes there's festivities. Uh, maybe I'll get a photo of bag check. Maybe I'll get a photo of the start line and all that good stuff or video, you know what I mean? Um, obviously there'll be photos for the article, but we'll get some videos for you guys. Um, this is my first NYR race of the year. My first uh, YouTube video for uh, a race. So. Hope you guys enjoy, um, and I look forward to showing you guys the Joe K 10K. So, we just got back from Lucky's, and I got the Smoking Ace Burger, smoking fries, which are like kind of like the Five Guys Cajun fries, and the Caesar salad. And honestly, I am starved, so I'm gonna dig into this shit. And I will catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. But you can get your own luckies when you guys come down to the New York City for your nine plus one. Just woke up uh, on my way to 
the JOK 10K. I didn't realize how far up it actually was. Um, so the race itself is going to be uh, much closer to Harlem than where I'm currently staying at. That's all right. We'll make it work. Um, I got to take a uh, C train from Columbus Circle up to uh, about 100th Street, I think. Something like that. All right. So we'll tune back in when we get there. All right, guys. So after an error with the uh, train ride up to 100th Street, we finally made it with 10 minutes to spare. Uh, as you guys can see in the video, like the quick time lapse there, uh, that's exactly why you want to get here early instead of like coming right at the, at the start time Because you have huge lines of people trying to get their bibs their shirts and everything and you might not actually make it to the race in time So make sure you guys actually stop by NYRR if you do a race and get that shit done in advance Yeah, I'm not going to 
Of Elton John clips of different songs thrown together with Dua Lipa, who's the best? Look at you with your music, your current music knowledge. Good job, Elton. Keep moving. All right, just finished up the Joe K 10K. Did a sub hour uh, six miles. Feeling pretty good about that, seeing as I only got two practice races in beforehand. Right now, I'm heading back to the hotel. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna clear up my shit, get down to Montan train station. Might try and get some of the uh, the the race course on the way back, but we'll have to see and find out. I think one of the uh, hardest parts about this race was actually the the big hill at the end, which I mean it flattens out at the top, but the the climb up after running six miles is just a pain in the ass. It's in the last point two mile stretch. Um. Aside from that, it's a lot of downhills on this race. Keep you going pretty steady, a pretty steady pace. Um, it's not too much of an incline. There, I think there's one or two or three, but they're they're mild comparably to that one at the end. It is freezing out though. It is about I want to say 30, 20, between 20 and 30 degrees. Snowy. Some parts of the road are still icy. Um, but all in all, it could definitely be worse. It's much better kept than where I practice, so not too bad overall. All right, guys. So as you can see, we're all packed up, ready to go. Got my scarf on. Let me get the hell out of here. And this is just a check of the room so you guys can see that leave everything clean tip for housekeeping always make sure you do a walkthrough before you leave any hotel room doesn't matter where it is doesn't matter if you trust them always do it it's better safe than sorry record it because i had a 200 dollar charge thrown on my uh my hotel room over in uh, Choice Hotels over in Rome, Verona, New York. And they charged me for 
destroying the room and shit that never happened, but I had it all on film, so fuck them, right? So that's why you always record, guys. Um, leave you with this view on our way out. Till the next one, guys.